What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm happy to announce a brand new version of the virtual display driver, and it supports uh, quite a few new features. So let's go ahead and scroll down and show you uh, where you can find it. It's currently in the beta stage, so it is down here in the download beta, and we do need testers. So if you're feeling adventurous and would like to test this out, uh, this would be a really fun one to try. So what changes are in it so far? This is a universal driver, so you don't have to choose Windows 10 or 11 anymore. Um, at the moment, it'll automatically choose whether HDR is enabled with whether your system supports it or not. So it'll say if you're on 11, uh, HDR will be enabled. If you're on 10, it won't be enabled. In the future, we're working to get HDR working on Windows 10, but we can't promise anything just yet, but I think we have a solid way to get it working. Aside from that, this also adds an XML configuration file, uh, which adds a ton of really great features, including being able to choose your own uh, graphics adapter that the virtual display driver attaches to. A lot of people have been requesting the ability to say, I don't wanna use this on my CPU, I wanna attach it to my graphics card. So now now you can actually go in and manually input which device um, it connects to. Beyond that, if you don't input anything, if you just leave it blank, it'll automatically choose the graphics card with the most available virtual memory, which is usually your dedicated GPU. And this makes sure it's really easy to get up and running. So how do we get started? Go ahead and click on the universal driver here and click on download IDD sample driver. We're going to go ahead and open up the IDD sample driver, and we're gonna copy this. Then we're gonna go into our C drive. So I'll go to my C drive, and I'm gonna paste this here. It's important that you have the IDD sample driver in this folder. Later on, we'll be adjusting this so we can actually choose the location and adjust that. But for now, it has to be in this folder. And then you'll see that we have a new XML file. If we go ahead and open this, and we'll just open it with code for now is fine. You can see that we can choose how many virtual monitors to display here in monitor count. Uh, we have a friendly name for our GPU. So if you have a uh, NVIDIA GTX 4070 Ti or whatever it happens to be, you would type that here um, and it would use that GPU. Then we have our resolutions and refresh rates. So here we have 800 by 600 and 1920 by 1080 all the way up to 4K. Uh, you can enter any resolution here, um, 8K and beyond, 500 Hertz and beyond, whatever you wanna input. Um, you can add this as a custom resolution with attached refresh rates. So very, very dynamic, very powerful. Um, and then the installation process is the same as it was before. You right click and run this as an administrator and it will install the certificate. Then we're gonna to go to our device manager. We're gonna to go to display adapters. So I'm gonna to go to action and add legacy hardware. I'm gonna install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Choose display adapters and then choose have disk and choose the location that we installed it to, the C drive IDD sample driver folder. It'll say the driver has an authentic code signature and it's the virtual display with HDR. Go ahead and hit next and hit next. You'll notice your screen kind of flash a little bit. And if we go to our display settings, you'll now have a new 4K display. If we go to advanced display down here, we can see that it is VDD by Mike the Tech and you can have all of your options here. It's currently in SDR and we can turn on HDR just like that. Pretty good stuff. Uh, we have more updates on the way. Huge shout out to Bud and Jock for their con contributions on this one. Uh, we've been making a ton of progress and uh, I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, we have a good one. Peace. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?